چیه چیه different different settings going on right now you feel me but you know this year has been a busy one and we're gonna give you a little update on it so stick to it and stay tuned update 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 where to start Correct. you, you, you want to start business you want to start personal <sighs> which update you want to give up first mm, business or personal I feel like business should go first, you know? Get the money. Business always need to go first. Get the money. Which made personal even more personal, but we we gonna get there. So as far as business, y'all, as y'all see, like we're in a different setting right now. Like I'm preparing myself for like the business inside of my house, basically. Um my business that I'm actually running right now is pretty much like my marketing business, which I am actually currently in school for right now. I have uh, my degree in business administration, but I'm missing it in marketing and advertisement. So that's what I'm in school for to get that degree. Um, and that's been another reason why I've been slacking, y'all, because, you know, school has been kicking my little back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as far as business wise, um, other than the business and marketing business that I'm trying to do, I've been working on like my decorating business a lot. So like my basement is like full of like containers like stacked on top of each other. Um, basically it's like get it together, you know. I'm trying to organize myself, you know, I do like the room decorations for like Valentine's Day or birthdays or special occasions, anniversaries, all that good stuff. Decorate hotel rooms for people who decorate their houses if they don't want to do their hotel room. Um, what else have I been getting into? I wish y'all could see my little setup that I got over here. Um, I just recently like did my little setup or whatever and I took like a little behind the scenes video or whatever of me like doing all of this. So I'm gonna send it to you and we gonna put that in there. Yeah, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a habit, bro. Okay, alright. All right. It's Hollywood, it's show business. <laughs> we here, okay? So yeah, so as far as business-wise, that's pretty much what I've been working on. And then outside of that, I'm really trying to get back into doing modeling. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's been like, okay? It's been hard trying to do everything, go to school and work. Um, yeah. And, and, a, and a mom. Yeah, and being a mother of so two. You got to pat yourself two. on the back. relax <laughs> but yeah so i kind of like been multitasking my life away you know what's the social life <laughs> at this point the only social life i had was with my relationship that's the hit i don't got that no more <laughs> let me let me ask you that so you would you would consider a relationship a part of your social life yeah yeah. I, I feel like it's a part of my social life only because like you should the person that you're with you should be trying to get to know them like every day like it, it should never change there should never be a moment where you should know everything about your partner like it's not it's not it's not realistic it's not gonna happen because we oh, we as people evolve like every day like the things that we like yesterday we might not like today like we could have liked 
different fruits when we were younger and as you can see when you got older after eating so much you don't like it no more i like that point let's make socializing with your mate a thing like really so yeah it, re it really needs to be a thing especially like with dating now yeah, people just socialize on social media. Yeah, like everything is social media based. Like, I me mean, personally, even like in a relationship, and y'all know I probably talked about this like in a couple past episodes. I don't feel like there should be a talking phase in a relationship because I feel like that's the stupidest thing ever. When you're talking to somebody is when you're dating somebody. The same things you would do to get to know a person in the talking stage is the same thing you would do in a dating stage you will not like i said and I'm just explain to you you will not get to know a person in the talking stage for three months because the same thing that they like doing three months the same things they might tell you that they like three months ago probably changed and don't like now so if you basing it off of knowing this person I promise you that won't be a thing because you will never know your person. Seriously. It's unrealistic. It's never going to happen. But as far as like relationship wise, I really do feel like like socializing with your partner should definitely be a thing. Because for one, I feel like communication is where a lot of relationships lack, to be honest. Communication and understanding. Comprehending what I'm explaining to you. So if I'm telling you like, hey, I didn't like when you did this, or I feel like when you did that, you was trying to humiliate me, or you was trying to do this, or you was trying to do that. And the way, this is how you figure out whether or not the person that you're dating is right for you, because the way that they respond to how you tell them things should be in a concerned matter. Oh, really? You felt that way? I didn't mean to make you feel that way. How can I do better when another situation like this comes up? Or how can I avoid another situation like this coming up? Like, it's not so much of, oh, he did this. Like, and y'all, I was the number one person with this. I'm not even going to lie to you. You could have did one thing to me. That's friendship, relationship, all of that. Any ship that can sink. <laughs> Any ship that can sink. I was the number one person that would say, uh, you do one thing wrong with me, I will walk right out that door and act like you never existed. That is like, that was always my number one thing. But then I realized that the tendency I had of saying stuff like that, I never explained what I didn't and did not like. So like, you can't expect to go in a relationship and think that this person knows right from wrong like, for, of course, the basics. You should expect the basics out of them. But as far as your pet peeves, you can't expect somebody to know what your pet peeves are if you've never talked about your pet peeves. You can't expect nobody to treat you right if you've never told them or gave them an expectation of how you want to be treated. You know, it's all about communication. And I feel like a lot of relationships like that. And I tried that, this relationship, and I was doing my part as, how I say it? I was doing my part as of communicating, like I was just telling y'all. But I wasn't doing my part as of, as of like taming my anger about it. Like I would let it build up in me so much that when I did say something about it, I was like, lashing out it was a blow up. yeah it was a blow up it was not like a conversation and then the moments that i did have a conversation my patience and you you know a lot of people say you know my kids teach me patience i don't know because my kids are very like chill kids so when it comes down to it i never as far as patience i never had to gain patience because my kids were so relaxed so i'm still working on my patience but <laughs> as far as like having like a full blown conversation and you give me dull answers or dry responses, it's gonna it's gonna heat it's gonna boil my bridges. So 
was the the breakup mutual or was it like no it was messy it wasn't messy it was just more so i need you to wake up but you said that you also played a part so don't you think maybe you 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 i do take i do take accountability as far as you know like having flow ups and not like expressing myself periodically through time but at the moment that things happen but at one point i was doing that in the relationship i'm not gonna lie i was i was communicating i was telling him what i didn't and did not like but it got to a point where i i just stopped trying so when so when you said i'm ready to you know i'm ready to go was it like no baby please don't leave me or was it like well shit fuck it then no, it was more so like, well, based off of his response, he knew it was coming. He basically said he knew it was coming. And that was pretty much it. Like, that sounds, that sounds mutual. Like, he knew, he, he knew it was coming. So he was didn't like, want us to break up. And, like, to be honest, but I'm I saying, he ain't like, the nigga big, brought you flowers, and you feel me? Like, oh, yeah, no. It wasn't nothing like that. It wasn't nothing like he was trying to fight for the relationship. That's what I'm saying. So because it's the same kind of mutual to me, then. We're talking about the same person who never took me on dates, bro. So it's like you were done with a relationship? Like you like like a ghost relationship? It was, yeah. With a real baby? <laughs> it, was, it was like, it was pretty, like, it was dry. There was nothing exciting about yeah it it was it was the it was the honeymoon phase that's that's what everybody calls it right in last long not long at all and now what's what's what's, like give us a timeline like we got we we we, you know we got a little time to catch up so just break break down the timeline so y'all y'all met when y'all was younger so y'all had kind of like a, a friendship yeah okay this gonna sound crazy mm-hmm. all right but he's my cousin's cousin so this is your, like your third cousin or something no. <laughs> i knew he was gonna say something crazy no it's not my i'm not related to him at all my cousin is related to him yeah so it's that's like your third cousin. <laughs> We not going to pay him no mind because he just saying anything. Ain't that, ain't that the definition of a third cousin? No. Four, four, uh, what's the definition of a fourth cousin? No. A third cousin is like, say for instance, right? Like your mom mm-hmm. has kids and your aunt has kids. Mm-hmm. Those are your first, first cousins, cousins right? right? Then when your cousins have kids, that's your second oh, cousin. So that just means generations. Yeah. Oh, I always thought it meant like, nah, my cousin, cousin, cousin. No. Cousin. That is, <laughs> no, it's the more that they have kids, those the are your cousins. Yeah. See, we grew up just saying, no, oh, that's my big cousin. That's my little cousin. Like, like my cousin's my, my mother age. We just call them, that's my big cousin. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's your, that's so, your. So that's my second cousin's. Yeah. Wow. So if that's your I'm, Wow, I learned something new in life. That's mm-hmm. crazy. I just Just like a lot of people don't believe like what half like you know how you have like half brothers, half sisters. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't believe that because you have half brothers, half sisters that you don't have half aunts and half uncles. Those are half aunt and half uncle. Damn. I literally just had this conversation with my mother because my dad has sisters, but it's only my grandfather's kids, not so, my grandmother's kids. So like, that's my once half again aunt. growing up. We say that's my step. That's my step brother. Uh, yeah, that's my step sister. No, 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 no. Because I was about to say step my, is my, if, if they married. Because my sister, in. yeah, my sister. And my little brother, we got different fathers. Mm-hmm. But I don't call them my step, my step brothers or step sister. 
that's just my sister and my brother, right? That's your... They... We got are, different fathers, same mother. That's your half-brothers, half-sister. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, step-brother, step... Step-brother step and step-sister comes from, like, say, for instance, your the father... Other, the stepfather's kids. No, yeah, like, the stepfather or the stepmother's kids. So, say, yeah, for instance, your are, father get yeah. married, that's your step-brother. That's my step sister. Like, but as, if y'all have like the same parent, if y'all have at least one of the same parent, mm -hmm. that's your half brother, half sister. Wow. If you have the same, if you have both of the same parents, yeah, that's, that's your it. brother. Right, right. Wow. And that's it's crazy. And the same thing works with aunts and uncles. I have half aunts. Yo, I, I you know, I, I, I pride myself on being an intelligent person, but. I'd be so dumb sometimes. Alright, let's, um, you know what I wanted to ask you about? What's no, matter of fact, we was talking about the timeline. So, y'all, alright, so y'all was, y'all was so, friends when y'all was younger, right? Right. So, so that so. mean y'all should have had that type of comfortability and that bond. Now, there was a gap. Because the last time, like, we were hanging around each other around, like, from, like, 5 to, like, maybe 11, 12 years old. Oh. Right. So, but we were around each other, like, all the time. Yeah, but but y'all wasn't looking at each other like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was kid stuff. Right. Okay. So then, all right, that don't count. when we got older, is when we met up again. Okay. And that was around... A couple of years ago. Yeah, probably like three, four years ago. Okay, all right. And three, we were friends. Ago. Okay, y'all was friends again, so y'all... Yeah, me. like, I would... So, so when you say friend, what kind of friend is it? No, nah, like, it was like regular friend. No, nah, I mean like friend, like y'all still hang out, y'all go out, you feel me? Y'all no, talk no, no. on the phone. We, we talk on the phone. Okay. A lot, like it was, you know, those dumb friend conversations that y'all just sit on the phone and just talk about anything. Okay, them dumb, them dumb conversations just. Um, it builds character in a friendship. It builds character in... Because you, you really seek in a relationship. At the time, I wasn't. You're just on another ship going trying to hop on another ship. You're using a friendship that... I'm yeah. Because you're not going to spend no hours on the phone with nobody if you're not... No, but I do that with my friends, though. Like, my male friends. That's, that's what I'm saying. No man don't really do that, you feel me? Unless, you feel me, he's interested. A guy best friend who lived in Atlanta and he was like always on the phone. Like, I'm telling you from a man. From a and man's we wouldn't even talk half of the time. Nah, this is, see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is law. I'm giving you law right now. No man is talking on the phone for hours unless he's your girlfriend, you feel, or he trying to lead his way into a relationship. I got some niggas, don't, niggas don't stay on no phone. <laughs> niggas be, nigga be on the game all day, but he ain't gonna stay on no phone for too long. I got some questions, man. Talk, talk, man. Shit. Nah, I'm talking about I got <laughs> questions for him then. Yeah, that shit was a, that was a plan. That was pre-planned. That was like pre-paid card right there. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. But yeah. we never even been on like them. T I don't know. I got questions, but. We gonna get into that another but day. That's why I wanted I like even now I would still want you to bring him on the podcast so y'all like we could break down literally what what's what causes you feel me from people to go from friends to a relationship to like nothing. To nothing. I don't know because I was like friends with this guy and then we tried to date you ever like had that friend where he was just like you know all right we'll give this a try because we've been friends for so long and then when y'all do try it y'all like mm -mm. i like us better as friends no never um never what? um any girl that i end up like getting with that was just my intentions from the jump it's never, it's no, it's no girl that I was, oh, this is my best friend, and we, we just accidentally just found out, no. <laughs> it's not real. Um, well, <laughs> I had a friend that I was like, we were friends for a long time, 
And then we went from being friends to trying to be in a relationship. And then we both was like, nah, this ain't going to work. And then we just became friends again. Uh-huh. And just stayed yeah. friends. And y'all still friends now? Yeah. And y'all still talk like girlfriends? I mean, I never talked to him like that. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, man. That's what I said. Like, it wasn't like it wasn't like I called him on the phone. Let me tell you what happened That's what I said. So, so, like... If you... we were in traumatic situations, like, we text each other, we text each other because we both are not talkative people. Like, we mm-hmm. don't... Like, if I talk to you, me personally, I don't know about any other female out there, but me personally, if I talk to you on the phone for a long period of time, it's either one, you're my mother, or two, you're somebody that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. But, exactly. Yeah, it's it's you gotta be somebody I'm interested in. Exactly. But a lot of females don't look at it that way. But well, I know, do. Yeah, well, you know, some girls just like to talk. You feel me? Some girls, they you know. Yeah, they and they so blindsided to what they actually like looking for. Me personally, if I'm talking to you on the phone for hours, it's because it's either I'm interested in you or you're my mother. Like I said. But outside of that, like, as far as, like, my friends and stuff, we'll call each other, like, when we have traumatic situations going on or, like, we got something to tell them or we found out something that was crazy or... Yeah, y'all want snitch, y'all want yeah, gossip. Yeah, like, that's how my yeah. friendships work. <laughs> and then if we haven't talked to each other in a few months, we still friends. We still close friends. Yeah. But we just hit each other with the, you good? Okay, yeah. All right, cool. Just All making right, sure. So just double checking. Just, okay, y'all current like niggas. Niggas, we, yeah, we do that. I got close friends that we don't talk all the time, but we That's don't know what, And see, everybody who's really close friends with me know that I'm not that type of person. Like, mm-hmm. I will not, I will not pick up the phone and call you every day. So if you're looking for a friend like that, don't come over here. <laughs> because right. I'm not that kind of friend. So back to the timeline. Y'all got together. Okay. The then, honeymoon. Now, how long was the honeymoon phase? Like, how long did it like? That's months, years, in your fingers. Four months. Four months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Because we got a trimester. Mhm. But it wasn't my first. It wasn't your first. You said a trimester. Well, you know, I'm talking about how long it lasts. Oh, a trimester, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, we first got together in October. Then, after we got together in October, we made it official of us, like, dating in January. To each other? Yeah. That's what y'all... <laughs> y'all made it official to each other. Like, hey, we're in a relationship now. People do that, still do that. Well, me, I do. Oh, yeah. all right, because I just end up in a relationship. It's like, hey, there you go. <laughs> you want to know what's crazy? This is probably, like, the first relationship that I had in a while that was just, like, well, we're going to, like, collectively, like, okay. decide when we are in a relationship. Like, hmm. right now, we just testing things out kind of thing. Wow, that's crazy. All my other relationships was just like, like it started out real. That started out really like professionally. Like that was a, that's a that's a professional relationship. Like y'all set y'all, you know I mean, standards. And yeah, we was together, and we would talk on the phone. Like I would be at work, headphone in my head, I mean in my ear, and we just be sitting there talking to each other about random stuff. Didn't matter. You come over, hang out, come see August, come play with August, hang out. Then he said, I'm gonna have me and my own little Augie. <laughs> <laughs> He's retarded. But yeah, and then January came and it was made official. Did y'all, did y'all plan the baby? No. Ah, uh, y'all missed the plan of that one. <laughs> they, like, they was playing everything else. <laughs> when Zane came, when I found out I was pregnant with Zane. That's when the whole dynamic of the relationship changed. Mm. Mm. Ah. And you know they say and kids that's a, that's ruin first, that's relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm. They say kids ruin relationships. I don't believe that that's true. I feel like the mindset of the person when you have a kid mm. is what ruin a relationship. Honestly, mm. to be honest. With I don't know, because I would think 
you know. Having a kid would make things better. No, I was actually thinking because you already had a kid. It's right, like, that it would make. Like it just. But made, I guess it's know? because it's his own. But. What the do you think that's my own kid? So like, if he already love, he love Augie. And that's not even his own kid. But now he has his own kid. You would think it'll be a lot. You feel me? Yeah. Times ten. As far as his mentality, I still feel like he had like that division. Like still, as far as like, you know what yeah, it is? I care for. I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you it right now. He's in rapper mode. What if you was with a guy, but he was a killer? But he was. Like you know, he he be body and shit. And he and he calling you like, babe, I, I gotta tell you something. Mm -hmm. I just killed the nigga that day. I love you, though. I would've hung up the phone. Nah, like, no, y'all in bed. Like, y'all live together. This shit, this shit, man. You, you feel me? Y'all in a relationship. He a street nigga. I waited till he fell asleep and packed me and my kids up and left. Damn. So you can't, you don't fuck with a nigga that's going to snitch on a nigga. And you fuck with a nigga that's going to knock, knock, knock no nigga head off for you, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Damn. So you just want, you, you, you just need a, you just want a square, like, you know I mean? If I know that you can protect me, like, this is the thing. Do whatever you're going to do, but don't let me find out. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you're going to do. But don't let me find out because I'm gonna be real with you. The moment that I find out, I'm a liability. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a mother first, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm a mother first, bro. My kids get put first. I'm not risking my life in jail. And my kids ain't put in the foster system because of your bad decisions. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. I'm sorry, you said what? <laughs> mm, okay. That's all right. Go ahead, take a nap. Mm -hmm. By the time you woke up, I've been gone. Gone, gone. Ah, uh, well. That, that's, a, that's a nice little update. Hey, man. We glad to have you back. You feel me? I we promise need, this we time. Need, we need more of your uh, influence on the world, man. It's crazy out here. Yeah, it is getting crazy. Go ahead, man. Leave them with the updates or whatever you got coming up. You know, we got a lot more episodes. We, we got to start shooting. Going, you know? Yeah, Going I got out. a lot more episodes coming. I promise y'all I won't ever leave again because we're going to get into these friendships. We're going to get into we gonna get into a lot of these episodes that's coming up pretty much going to be about friendships because I've been having a little problem with these female friends. Mm. But we're going to get into that later. Different episode. We ain't going to talk about it today. But for the most part, y'all just stay tuned. Stick around. Follow my Instagram. Y'all know I had the name change. I got a video dropping about the name change. I got to rebrand everything. I'm coming out with a lot more projects, a lot more videos, hopefully some more music. We ain't going to talk about that because Speedy just act like he too Hollywood for us now. Boy. I am. I am. <laughs> Show business. Here we go. But I'm definitely going to have more in tune for y'all. Just stay tuned. Stay tapped in. Make sure y'all follow the network. Make sure y'all follow my Instagram. And just show my love. Because you know it never ends here. We got more to come. But thank y'all for tuning in for today. I'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>